Okay, so TY students, we have to perform our practical number three uh, during our session. Okay, so we already uh, know that how to start up our project and how to create a submitting diagram in the ProDS app. So that is your practical number three, basically uh, GPS module interface uh, with Raspberry Pi. Okay, so let me show you how to you uh, how you to interface your uh, Raspberry Pi with GPS module. So again. The same step we have to follow, like uh, go to the new project, after uh, going to the new project, uh, change the name of the project, like uh, I am doing the practical number three. So rename it with the practical number three. There is a practical number uh, third. Uh, I am uh, so short name as and provide the short name is GPS uh, module. Okay. Uh, remember, GPS module is not present in the Raspberry Pi. So we have to download the Raspberry Pi from the other sources. So after renaming the practicals uh, of your, after the renaming your practicals, so select the path. Uh, you already know that how to select a path. Okay. So I already created uh, my. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I already created my folder IoT Practical Proteus. So I'm selecting the my folder. The so same. As same as it is, you have to select your uh, file uh, where you save during the session in the uh, individual pieces and uh, go to the next. After going to the next, again the same steps create a symmetry diagram and select it the default. And uh, do not create a PCB layout, create a prepare project. After selecting the create a prepare project, select the uh, sorry, Raspberry Pi. Just one second, Raspberry Pi. See here, control is the Raspberry Pi 3, compiler is the Python Proteus 3. Then next, uh, again, the summary of the selection of components and uh, uh, Python compilers, then fins. Okay. So, we already know that there are two semantic, first one is the semantic capture, there are two windows. First one is the semantic capture, and second one is the source code. The default shift source code you have to delete, delete it. Okay. So after creating the project, uh, because we are performing performing now the GPS module interface, so we require the library. Okay. So we have to download from the Chrome or other website. So whenever you install the library and put into uh, into the Proteus or you are using the Proteus, always remember when you are creating the project. After creating the project and shut down the Proteus app. Okay, save and shut down the Proteus app. Okay, now uh, go to the Chrome, uh, search here the GPS library, GPS library for Proteus. Okay, so after going to the GPS library for Proteus, the, the engineer project, go to the engineer for the GPS library Proteus. Okay, uh, the window like is. <coughs> okay, so GPS libraries, uh, select the GPS library for Proteus is going to the new window. After going to the new window, it will be available the download options. Right? The, uh, first, first, first of all, click the video the button and download the GPS library for Proteus. So download it. Wait until the it is downloaded. Okay, then go to the download section. Okay, so that is your uh, GPS module. Okay, so extract it. Extract all. Okay, after extracting, you have to see there is a uh, one hex file, and one is library, one is IDX. So we require the hex file and library and IDX in the different and different uh, steps. So library. Select a library and IDX. Okay. Copy that. After copy that, go to the uh, go to the C. Okay. And uh, program file 86. Program after going to the program file 86, go to the lab center electronics. Lab center electronics. Go to the Proteus professional. Proteus uh, professional. Go to the data. After going to the data, go to, to the library, okay, and paste here. So it is uh, already I am uh, paste already I am pasting here. So 
जब आप यहाँ पे पेस्ट करोगे सो वेन एवर यू परफॉर्मिंग द प्रैक्टिकल अगर आपने ऑलरेडी उस पी पे परफॉर्म किया रहेगा तो जब आप डाउनलोड कर रहे हो तो आप लोग ऑलरेडी गेट रिमेम्बर आप रिप्लेस दिस फाइल इन द डेस्टिनेशन यू टू चूज दिस ऑप्शन रिप्लेस दिस फाइल इन द डेस्टिनेशन ओके रिमेम्बर द स्टेप्स कॉपी द आईडी एक्स फाइल एंड द लाइब्रेरी फाइल ओके ऑफ जी पी एस मॉडल गो टू दस गो टू द प्रोग्राम फाइल एक्सिस लैब सेंटर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स प्रोटिया सेट प्रोफेशनल डेटा एंड लाइब्रेरी देर टू टाइप ऑफ लाइब्रेरी वन इज रिटर्न इन द कैपिटल फॉर्म एंड लाइब्रेरी इंडेक्स गो गो टू द लाइब्रेरी एंड कॉपी पेस्ट देट ओके आफ्टर दिस ओपन द प्रोटीन देट Open the Proteus app and open the uh, recent project where you can show that is your practical number three GPS model. Okay, so again the same selection mode. I'll go to the center uh, selection mode and search here the GPS library GPS. So that is your GPS model from the engineer project is available. Huh? Then okay, select it and drag it. Okay. So and uh, for the GPS output we are require a virtual simulator. जहाँ पे हमारा सारा output दिखेगा तो go to the virtual terminal. Okay. So virtual terminal. Right. So you have to see there is a uh, two piece one first is the transmitter and receiver. So basically the connection is the GPS module. Uh, जो जीपीएस मॉडल है देर आर टू टर्मिनल फर्स्ट इज ट्रांसमीटर एंड रिसीव इट विल फिच अ डेटा फ्रॉम सोर्स लाइक आवर सेटेलाइट नेटवर्क ओके आफ्टर रिसीविंग द डेटा इट विल बी सेंड टू द रेरी पाए एंड रेरी पाए फिच द डेटा आफ्टर फिचिंग द डेटा इट विल बी सेंड टू दर वर्चुअल टर्मिनल सो बेसिकली देर इज आवर कनेक्शन सो लेट डू द कनेक्शन For the connections, we require the default. Okay, go to the search circuit mode, select the uh, default. Okay, select the default and activate that. Or rotate it. And there is another default we have to use. Okay, connect it. And now. Uh, the transmitter and receiver, okay. So GPS model जो भी data accept करेगा, वो उसको क्या करने वाला है? Transmit करने वाला है. किसको transmit करने वाला है? आपके इस Raspberry Pi को, right? So transmitter जब ये transmit करेगा, तो receive कौन करेगा? Raspberry Pi. So you have to इसको आपको rename करना है RXT. So इसका string आप define करो RXT. Okay. Then, इसने क्या किया जीपीएस मॉडल ने क्या किया सारा डेटा को उसने कैप्चर किया जो भी इन्वॉर्मेंट उसके पास डेटा प्रेजेंट थे आफ्टर सेलेक्टिंग द डेटा इट विल बी ट्रांसमिटेड टू द रेस्बेरी पाए एंड रेस्बेरी पाए फिचिंग दैट डेटा एंड दैट विल बी सेंड टू द आवर वर्चुअल टर्मिनल ओके सो आर एक्स टी स्पेस विल बी द रिसीव द डेटा फ्रॉम द जीपीएस मॉडल ओके सो नाउ आफ्टर रिसीविंग द डेटा फ्रॉम द जीपीएस मॉडल इट विल बी सेंड टू द आवर वर्चुअल टर्मिनल Okay, it will be sent to the data virtual terminal. It will be like the transmitter of the data. Okay, so rename it TXT. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, that is TXT. Okay, so the connection is done. Now uh, go to the source code. Again, it will be a default source code. Delete it. I already uh, written the code, so just a one second.
respect to KBR program properties not defined. Mm, just uh, one second. Properties are just uh, just just uh, one step. Sorry for that. Uh, Stop the program and uh, go to the GPS. Sorry, uh, you have to perform that steps after the connection. Uh, go to the GPS module and uh, select it two times. After selecting the two times, uh, just one second. Okay, after selecting the, it will be open. Uh, this edit component window will be open and. Uh, Go to the program file after going to the program file go to the this pc sorry go to the desktop desktop go to the downloads gps library for proteas i have downloaded the today okay select here the hex file of the gps library and open it okay so what do we have to do uh, we have to select the hex file for the gps library then it will be there and otherwise it will be so the error of like uh, like this uh, uh, then okay then uh, it will be so the error of uh, avr program properties not defined okay so let me uh, run the program then after i will explain the code okay so now program is running and uh, in the virtual terminal you have to see uh, the output of <coughs> what gps model is showing Okay, it will be fluctuating uh, time. Let me open. Okay, so see here, uh, it will be flexing like uh, fishing like a north, west, fit, uh, fit after some time, north, west, south, west. Okay, then it will be uh, go to the our uh, location like a 301.985. Okay. That is the output of the uh, GPS model. Okay, so come to the source code. Here uh, we are importing the time, and uh, you know that already we have to import the time uh, because it will be uh, sending the data to the from the <coughs> simulator to the Raspberry Pi, and uh, sorry, uh, GPS library to uh, sorry from the GPS model to the the uh, Proteus and uh, import the uh, Raspberry Pi as a GPR PIO ports and PIO ports is basically it will be activate our UART uh, communication channel. You already know the asynchronous universal asynchronous receiver and transmitter ports. It will be the activated because we are not using the any GPR pins. Okay, we are using the RXT and TXT. This, uh, this is act like a ports in the Raspberry Pi simulator. Okay, so we are activating the pio.urt is equal to ports urt. Then we have defined already while for uh, one second. That is uh, the the data received from the urt communication that will be the print to our the virtual simulator. Okay, that is for the practical number three. 